welcome back to another crafting tutorial today i'm going to be showing you how to make these super simple fleece blankets and all you need is a blanket and iron on so i just got these blankets from walmart and these are the ones that you can typically get two for five dollars I already have my design open in design space so I'm just going to go ahead and size it. I want it to be about 10 by 10 ish so what I'm gonna do is just size it to get the width I want and then I'm going to unlock my design with the little um, lock button in the lower left hand corner and I'm going to make it a little bit longer just so it's somewhat in the square 10 by 10 range. Once I have it the way I like it, I'm just going to repress that button in the left hand corner to lock it. And now I'm going to go up and hit make it. So we can see my mat right here. And since this is iron on, I do need to mirror it. Once it's mirrored, it shows us backwards. So that's right. And I'm going to hit continue. I'm using Bluetooth to connect my computer to my Cricut, so it does sadly take quite a while to connect. Okay, now that it's connected, it will show us our base material is set to iron on. And you can see this helpful little reminder that says, make sure mirror is turned on and iron on material is face down. So we have it to um, mirror and whenever we put it on the mat, we're just going to make sure it's face down. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm just going to use white and I'm just going to go ahead and cut that material to the 10 by 10 range. So just like our reminder told us, I'm going to make sure I'm putting the shiny side down.
As you can see here, my mat is way not sticky. It is long overdue to get a new one. I'm holding out though because I saw on another video that you are able to clean your mat and it will help get the sticky back. I just, I haven't done it yet. So I'm thinking it's kind of just passed through and I'll have to crack down and buy another mat soon. And now for the fun part of our process here, which it's not really the fun part at all. It's the weeding of our design. And let me tell you, this design, it is so cute. I loved it, but it is a pain to weed with all those little circles. I did not realize, I didn't even think about for weeding what those little circles would be to, uh, I don't know, I can't even describe it. It was just so much work to get out all those tiny little circles. Um... And they were all over my desk. They, it was crazy. So I'm like, this design was probably a one-time use. I did get it for free off of Design Bundles with the Plus membership. Um, this is not sponsored by Design Bundles. I'd love it if it was, but unfortunately, it's not yet. But um, they have a whole bunch of blanket designs if you are in need of one. I've made the video game one before, the one that says... This is my do not disturb busy playing video game blanket or whatever it says. They have a Bible reading blanket, a book reading blanket. I, they just have a whole bunch of these cute little designs. Unfortunately, most of them do have the little circles. They are really cute, but in the process of weeding, it makes you just want to give up and try something else. But yeah, so I did edit out part of my weeding just because... I didn't think you'd want to watch all of it and because I was getting tired of it and just kind of winging it and going crazy getting all those dots out. Here's my blanket and I've just folded it so I have only the corner and I just need to press it with my heat press um, just to get all the wrinkles out and that lets the moisture out also. Okay now I have heated it and you can see it's a lot smoother so I'm just going to put my design on it and even it out and my heat press is currently set at 150 degrees Fahrenheit I don't know why it's Fahrenheit but for some reason my heat press is not in Celsius which is a little odd to me but makes things a little more interesting when crafting my first thing I made with my heat press it burnt to a crisp because I was I set it to 350 degrees thinking it was Celsius, uh, Fahrenheit and I learned the hard way that it was not Anyway, so just set it on there and we're going to heat it again for 15 seconds and we're going to do it a couple times. Okay, I did about three different times of pressing it 15 seconds with giving it a few seconds in between to cool. Now I'm just going to pull off the plastic covering and I do want to make sure it's at a 180 degree angle. So it's like, it doesn't try and pull the design up with it, but you just want to pull it so it will. Um, so it wants to stay on the blanket. That was, it should have been a lot easier to say. Um, I'm just going to pull it off all the way and then once it's all the way off I'm going to give it another press and I do this with everything I make. I always after I peel the plastic off I press it again just for security that everything is stuck on there. And here you go now we have our wonderfully beautiful blankets that are customized just how we want them. I really like this blanket and I'm going to keep it for myself actually just because I love my reality TV and I think it's the perfect blanket for me. So I hope you like this video. I hope it wasn't boring but um, yeah, if you make these video these blankets let me know because I'd love to see what you do. Check out Design Bundles for more blankets like this.